Samsung has just introduced a new version of its flagship S20 series, the Galaxy S20 FE or Fan Edition. Now it gets its name because Samsung says this model offers everything that fans of the Galaxy S20 series want but at a more accessible price. So let's get started on the unboxing and see what our first impressions of this device will be. Of course, before we go ahead, please do remember to subscribe to the Gadgets360 channel and hit the bell icon so you know whenever we post a new video. So here we have the box itself, which is rather plain, but if you look closely, you'll see these embossed icons, which represent little features of the device itself. And that's pretty much it. The rest of the box is quite plain. There's nothing much to see. We have a few labels telling us that we have the Cloud Mint version of this phone and that it has 8 GB of RAM and 128 GB of storage, but that's basically it. So there's nothing left to do but break the seals. And the lid pops right off. As usual for Samsung, we have an easy to miss folder over here, which has a SIM eject pin. It's pretty light. And yes, there's nothing inside other than these leaflets. There is no case, at least not in this box. So that can be put aside, following which we have the phone itself. Now this is the Galaxy S20 Fan Edition, which we are seeing for the first time. It looks a lot like the S20 series and in fact the Note 20 series with this vertical camera module here. The back is pretty shiny and reflective. And this is the mint color option. So although the back is shiny, it does have a matte texture and this does not feel slippery at all, which is pretty good. Of course, you can see that the camera module is very, very reflective and you have three cameras on the rear plus a flash. So let's turn this on and put it to one side while we look at the rest of the box. So that's just a piece of cardboard, a rather chunky charger. And then this is a USB Type-C cable. And that's really it. That's all there is inside the box. So we can move all of this out of the way and talk about the phone's specifications. And of course, get a closer look at it in action. So the first thing to notice about the Galaxy S20 Fan Edition is that it is pretty premium. It does feel good. Uh, it's a little thick, but not very heavy. On the front, we have a 6.5 inch Super AMOLED panel with a full HD plus resolution. Now this screen is actually larger than the 6.2 inch screen on the Galaxy S20, uh, but not as high resolution. You get a relatively small cutout at the top over there. That's what Samsung calls an Infinity O display. And you can see that the front camera is relatively small, but it's still right in the middle of the top of the screen. We have a power button and volume buttons on this side which means that there's an in-display fingerprint sensor. This side is completely blank. And we have what looks like the SIM tray on the top, along with a USB Type-C port and a speaker on the bottom. So the Galaxy S20 Fan Edition has three rear cameras. There's a 12 megapixel wide angle camera, which is the standard one, and a 12 megapixel ultra wide angle camera along with an 8 megapixel telephoto camera. Now this telephoto camera does 3x optical zoom and 30x super resolution space zoom, which combines optical and AI image processing. So it's not quite as powerful as the camera setup on the more premium Galaxy S20 models. Interestingly, the front camera has a 32 megapixel resolution. As for power, we have the Samsung Exynos 990 processor, which is the same as the Galaxy S20 series. And we have a 4500 mAh battery, which is actually larger than the 4000 mAh battery on the Galaxy S20. A lot of people will be happy to note that this phone has an IP68 rating for water and dust resistance, and this unit also came with a screen guard pre-applied. 25 watt fast charging is supported, but you only get a 15 watt charger in the box. Wireless charging is supported, as is wireless reverse charging. 
So the Galaxy S20 FE is running Android 10 with Samsung's One UI on top. We have the September 2020 Android security patch, which is good news. You also get support for Samsung's S-series software features, such as DeX. The Galaxy S20 FE will be sold in only a 4G version in India as of now, and only with 8GB of RAM and 128GB of storage. Let's pop open the SIM tray now. As you can see, it's double-sided. This is a hybrid slot on one side for a micro SD card or a nano SIM, and this one only takes a nano SIM. What's most interesting about the Galaxy S20 FE is how it's positioned below the Galaxy S20 and is more affordable, but should also offer a few features that might beat its more expensive sibling. So that was a quick unboxing and first look at the new Galaxy S20 FE or Fan Edition. As usual, for all things tech, do visit us at gadgets360.com. Thanks for watching.